All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to prove the reverse triangle inequality, which sounds like a useful identity, but it's not as useful as you think, because it always goes the wrong direction, um, except for some special cases. So what I wanna show is, show that the absolute value of a minus b, it's always greater or equal to the absolute value, difference between the absolute values. So for instance, why is this intuitively true? Because b might sometimes be negative. So consider three minus minus five. The fact that we have a minus five here, it's useful because it means that this becomes three plus five and that becomes eight. On the other hand, if you change this to absolute values, that's bad because this becomes a plus five. So we have three minus five, and that becomes absolute value of minus two, and that is two. So what this is saying is the stuff without absolute values, is always bigger than the stuff with absolute values. All right, now how do I prove this? It's actually just an application of the triangle inequality. So consider absolute value of a, and let's play a game with this a little bit. This is a minus b plus b, and that's less or equal to a minus b plus absolute value of b. So if you put this absolute value on the left-hand side, what you get is the difference between absolute values it's less than or equal to the pure absolute value. On the other hand, you can either just say reverse A and B, or if you want to do the proof again, be my guest. So B is B minus A plus A is less than or equal to B minus A plus absolute value of A. So again, putting this on the left-hand side, you get B minus A it's less than or equal to absolute value of this, which is a minus b. So in particular, what this implies is that a minus b becomes greater than or equal to minus absolute value of a minus b. Okay, and therefore what do we have? We have that the quantity um, a minus b Let's see, no, we have the quantity, absolute value of A minus absolute value of B. It's squeezed between minus absolute value of A minus B and absolute value of A minus B. So this is like saying X is squeezed between minus C and C. What this implies is that absolute value of X is less than or equal to C. So in other words, what this implies is precisely the tri reverse triangle inequality, that if you take absolute value of this side, it becomes less than or equal to this positive quantity. And that's it, except let me prove this lemma actually, because it's actually very useful. Um, so lemma. In other words, absolute value of x less than or equal to c is actually equivalent to x is between minus c and c. And for this, let me prove this in two directions. So here, we know that absolute value of x is less than or equal to c. Then just to case one, if x is positive, this means x is less than or equal to c. Well, and that's, that is more general. So in fact, x is between minus c and c. And in case two, what we know is minus x, so uh, x negative, or non-positive, this we know that absolute value of x, which is minus x, is less than or equal to c. So x is greater than or equal to minus c. So in particular, x is squeezed between those two values. And on the other hand, suppose the other case, okay, suppose that 
x is squeezed between minus c and c. And then let's just do case one again. So uh, x non-negative, then what we get is absolute value of x, which is x, and we know that this is less than or equal to c. So in this case, we're done. In case two, x negative, then absolute value of x is minus x. But what we know, we know that x is greater or equal to minus c, so minus x is less than or equal to c. So absolute value of x, which is minus x, is less than or equal to c. And that's what we wanted to show. All right, thank you very much.